Sao lại mới lấy, mới lấy Mêu Mêu mò sao Cao vầy Cao vầy mới lấy Cao vầy mới lấy Cao Big thank you for my Jesus mug that was presented to me yesterday at the protest. So that's it. Got there we go. Right, so we got that yesterday. I just let the figures build out a bit impromptu. Um, left all my recording stuff at home, so I didn't um, just show you the lake. Let's have a little look at the lake. No, just been for a swim. In a beautiful lake. That's not a sewer pipe pumping raw sewage in. It's nothing. You can actually clear. It's crystal clear that lake. Look, crystal clear. It's a crisp packet there. Yeah, yeah. So I've just been, uh, just been with with Mill. Me and Mill. Here's here's Mill. She's just been with a swim. Building Millie's fitness up for the big walk so she's got to go and do a bit of training she's she's getting on for 11 years old now so she's doing well she's doing well um right so i'm having a brew by the lake with my new jesus mug one love um just a bit of um, a rundown i didn't have my recording stuff with me yesterday so i couldn't um really uh put anything out because I was at the protest and I was asked to give a speech it was the um, about Covid and uh, injections and whatnot. Uh, but there was you know child protection issues and I um, and I was asked to speak at that and it was well received got a big round of applause which was very nice uh, Kate Shemarama Shem Shemarama Kate anyway uh, presented it all. I was accost, um, accosted by one nutcase, though, who um, obviously don't, didn't like me, and he was uh, renting and that, but the security just lobbed him out. But one in 30,000 ain't a bad ratio, but you're going to get it, going to get it. Um, but so what was incredible was that everyone was behind what we've been doing as a group in speaking out against child abuse and the cover-ups. Um, uh, however, the police are now, um, I don't know what they're doing, uh, they're steaming in, there was, uh, it kicked off yesterday and there's one reported death, maybe two deaths, um, some fellow's been, I don't know what they've done, whether they've, they've hit him with sticks or something, I don't know, but he's died as a result, um, there was an attempt early on to shut down the stage, shut down the freedom of speech. Um, it was just wrong. It was just so wrong. You know, um, they were asking the police to choose their side and do you know what? I, I put a call out and said, you know, I, I had a choice. I could either choose to shut my mouth and allow it to continue or I could choose to uh, stand up for the voiceless and the vulnerable. So I made my choice. And I called them to make the same moral decision. But there's people with mortgages and families. They're going to do as they're told on the whole. But this division has occurred. Um, and it was wrong. It was wrong. I can't, couldn't see how they had any need to, to implement any sort of enforcement. None whatsoever. There was no need to take an offensive stance. You know, it wasn't violent. There were women, there were children, there were people, there were their dogs. And the police formed a line and steamed in. And people got hurt and it was wrong. It was so wrong. And it's um, it's leaving a little bad taste in my mouth, really. That's to... uh, all right, hello, mate. She's all right? Yeah, I'm fine. yeah no worries. I've got a oh, all right. I'll her in. Yeah, no, no, she, she's good, just say hello. That's it. He'll be all right, that bloke, unless he's uh, a pedo, in which, all right, in which he will be bitten profusely by Millie. Millie's just protecting her little swimming zone now. Um, some chap there gone for a swim as well, by the way. Um, but yeah, no, it was, 
uh, it's a sign of the times. It's I don't know what the government's agenda is. It's not a good one. Um, all we were doing was speaking out about people not wanting vaccines, which is fair enough. I don't want a flipping vaccine. Um, I don't believe in this. Sorry about that. I, I flicked something and the phone went off. I don't know what I did there. Um, and and I was talking out about, you know, we, we don't want perverts in Parliament. Uh, we don't want high-ranking officers covering up perverts in Parliament and in society in general, uh, which isn't really an unreasonable shout. It's um, quite clear and unambiguous what, what, what we're talking about. And there was no hatred spouted at all. You know, there was a dislike for paedophiles, which again is very reasonable and, uh, and is allowed. And the police just tried to stop it at every angle. It was just, it was so wrong. It is so wrong how we're being policed now. And um, it's, we, we need to get together. We do, there was a lot of people there, but again, not many. You know, I'd say maybe 30,000, I don't know. Um, they stopped all the coach parks. They used to have all up high park was where the coaches would park. That's now a walking and cycling lane. I mean, high park is one big cycling and walking lane anyway, um, with, with little roads crisscrossing and up and down. So there's no need for this walking and cycling lane. They've reduced a three lane busy highway to one lane and no coaches can park. So the coaches can't convey the people to the marches. The police are blocking off the road. And um, it's just, um, it's just, it, it's just crazy. It's, it's mad. We can, we can see it happening. I mean, like you can feel it happening. Um, and I, I feel very sad um, because we're going to be locked down again. We went for a pint um, and we, there was no pub would let us in because there were seven of us. Um, all right, Lou. <laughs> there were seven of us. So we, one person had to sit in the next table, which it, none of it makes any sense. And even these landlords are rigidly implementing these laws. And, you know, this one landlord believed that we should be doing this, didn't see anything wrong in what was going on. You know, they're just tossers. You know, and in the shops they're believing it, and they, they you know, I heard two women in the post office when I send off the mugs were saying no people should socially distance so when they said people are waking up are oh, they bollocks they're not waking up at all they're not they're not getting it and we're going to be shut down again and the first shutdown has caused so much problems with people's mental health and, and their cognitive process um, and and also business wise you know on the fiscal front it's caused phenomenal detriment and they're going to shut us down again and they're going to be relentless with it and they are and I just fear that um, we're just walking in, into such a tyrannical situation I, I really do it is so bad so so bad but I want to thank everyone who turned up everyone who cheered and clapped for me that was that was lovely you know um, I'm I'm off I just want to show you this lake again it's proper nice I swam with the ducks today it's usually full of duck feathers and duck poo, but I don't know what's happened to that. It's all been, I think I must have swallowed most of it, you know. It's a little bit of rubbish, um, but it's um, it's a huge, huge lake. It's massive. So me and Mill do, do a mile. Um, there we go. And it's um, it's a disused, it's a, it's a quarry. It's lovely, you know. I'm just sitting here with me, me beverage, my hot tea. I've got a flask. And I've come down here for a quiet moment and just to reflect on what's gone on. And then um, I'm going to go see a good friend of mine. So a big shout out to Tony. Big shout out to Mr. Tony Sweeney, a lovely, lovely individual. So we said we did have one nutcase. Um, it was from Liverpool screaming and shouting that I defrauded him and other people by selling T-shirts. Um, Folks in Nobed. So um, anyway, and that was it really. That was uh, and the, and apart from that, and the police um, uh, just taking such a hard start. You know, there's a there's a dead man now uh, because of it. It's um, it, it's just wrong. It's just really wrong. 
uh, yeah, there's a guy dead as a result of um, uh, what was a peaceful process and, and a protest against, you know, the atrocities that, that are targeting humanity and that's all it was, you know. We wasn't doing anything for any selfish agenda. There was no racial hatred, there was nothing. Mark Newt, is that, is that your real name, Newt, Mark? That's, uh, there's some Newts in here, Mark. There's quite a few Newts in here, it's about the only thing that does live in here. Um, right, so I'll be going up um, tomorrow on with at the government inquiry. Uh, opening statements are being given. The government has tried to ban myself uh, and another detective from giving evidence. They don't want us being cross-examined, uh, which is about typical, isn't it? So it looks like my statement will be read and um, I won't be cross-examined because if I'm cross-examined, I will be given free reign and a free narrative. And I don't want that, I don't think. Um, that's the feedback anyway. So, um, you know, uh, let me have a little swig of tea. And from there, I'm going to be going up to meet uh, an ex-gangster called Brian Cockrell. Uh, Brian is, um, they call him the tax man. I think it was because he was good at bookwork. <laughs> no, he's a, he used to rob drug dealers, I think, and whatnot. But anyway, he's um, turned his life around and, like Terry Ellis, wants to wants to help and power to them. So that that's, um, that's superb. That's absolutely brilliant when we're getting... People like Terry Ellis, Brian Cockrell, Lam Chris Lambiano, Stephen French, all turning their lives around and wanting to go out and help and help um, help kids. Flipping awesome, very very powerful. Um, but the, these lockdown measures are, are coming in. They're going to start finding people ten grand. And um, I, d I don't know. I've not got the answers. And I've got a little. Um, I got a little card, someone, Westminster Council gave me a little card, look. I left it on my car, I've not read it yet. But um, hopefully it'll be wishing me well and all that. So I'll be reading that, thank you Westminster Council. God bless them. Maybe there's some money in there, I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, thank you everyone for the support yesterday. It was, it was very emotional, it was a uh, it was like a bit of a pat on the back for all the hard work. You don't realise, you know, when I started doing this, um, I just got this little camera and went out and just thought, well, I can do these little interviews. Um, and off I'll go in my green car, pooling up and down the country, meeting people. Um, and then I started getting hit with a lot of resistance. There was a hell of a lot of resistance in the early days. There was all the, the mad trolling and, you know, people really didn't want me doing it. But I carried on and then, all of a sudden I get recognised in the street and people shouting, carry on, keep going. I was in Brixton the other day and there was a black guy crossing the road and he went, oh, hey, you. <laughs> what, what have I done? I went, you've got to keep going. We love you. We love you in Brixton. You know, and it's just, you, you realise that what you've done, actually, you start seeing the fruits of it because you can't measure it. You know, it's not like building something where you can stand back and look at it. You don't know what you've done and all of a sudden you get messages through and people thanking you and and, and saying, you know, you've made a difference and uh, that's what it's about. That is what it's about. But the fight's only just begun and we've got a long way, a long, long way to go. We really need to wake people up. Um, I really want people to start speaking up about the abuse that they've endured. Um, the problem I get, the reason why a lot of people don't speak out it's because their families don't know. They, um, and when I say families, it's usually the families initially that cause the abuse, especially with the satanic stuff. Um, but they move on and they get married and they actually haven't told their partners. Um, and again, that's not for me to cause any um, domestic disharmony. So if someone says no, then, then no it is. Um, but that's the main stumbling block is um, people's family don't know their past. And they don't mind telling it to the world, but they don't want to tell it to their families. So yeah, I've got no option but to respect that and, and go along with it. Uh, but I want people to speak out. We're coming up to Halloween. I'm asking anyone, anyone with solid, concrete, and I mean concrete information, right, about 
venues that are regularly used for satanic abuse. Not 20 years ago, not when you was a kid, you know, not when you was with a mate and you used to go and smoke a joint in the park and you saw something going on. I don't want none of that. Solid, concrete information. There is abuse going on in this place and there is access to it. Um, please get in touch with us. You know, we have a team. We want to film it. We want to um, disrupt it and maybe citizens arrest those if there are atrocities going on, such as the hurting of children or, or, the, or the mutilation of animals or whatever. Um, and we've got quite a handy team as well. And when I say handy, I, I actually do mean handy. So um, as, um, as someone who tried to have a go yesterday, quickly found out, um, hey, oh, if someone wants to uh, disrupt it, then there's people that will disrupt them. So um, we will not be stopped in what we're doing. We have to carry on, we really have to carry on. But please speak out, please come forward. Um, but if you, you speak to me, make it clear if you want to give me information or you want to speak out, okay? Um, because we haven't got much time. We really haven't got much time, all right? And the more info we put out, um, you know, the better it comes. Anyone that has any information regarding satanic ritual abuse in the county of Surrey, um, and I'm in solid information, please, please come forward. All right, well, I'll leave it at that. Um, uh, Torquay, uh, I was in Torquay, but a little while back, I'm just gonna show you, look, Mill's gone for a swim. Millie really swims with me. I'm just going to sit here for a minute and have a couple of quiet minutes before it all kicks off on my phone. So, um, um, right, I'll be speaking to you, Sue, shortly. Give me a minute. Um, we are up in Glasgow. So we've got the Beach Home team, Big Bad Alan Merritt, Sue, and myself, uh, Lou, um, and a few others in Glasgow. Um, anyone... That, that wishes to meet up in Glasgow, please let us know. We need to highlight what's going on in the Allison Street area of Govan Hill as well. The authorities need to be made aware of that. Um, and the um, Quarriers Survivor Group, Quarriers Warriors, will be holding a service for the children that, that were, were killed in that kid's home. Um, so please, please tune in, join us in Glasgow. And I will be in the northeast uh, on Tuesday. So, um, anyone wants to link in, please let me know. All right. God bless everyone. Have a lovely Sunday. All right. And uh, just, just show me yours. There you go. There you go. So.